Television and radio favourite Ernie Sigley is today being remembered for a rapid-fire wit that helped him stay at the top for much of his career. Known as the Little Aussie Battler, Ernie has died aged 82 after a long battle with Alzheimer's. Tony Jones compiled this tribute. He was part of a golden era where talk shows were the talk of the town. How about a French massage? There you are talking. I'll be in that. Hi, Frenchy. Yes? Ernie Sigley oozed a knockabout charm that took him to the top. There's so much bull, bull dust on it. <laughs> he landed his first radio job as a turntable operator on 3DB at just 14. Years later, the lights of TV beckoned. You know, whenever believes me, Vibe, what's my favourite meal in the can? What do I always come and ask for? Pine sauce and a hot dog. And with him for much of the journey was Sigley's on-air partner, Denise Drysdale, who today said... I will cherish the memories of all the mischief we got up to together. He still makes me laugh just thinking about him. Love and respect, dear Ernie. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thanks. You look like an old May West. <laughs> a young May West, too. Ernie and Ding Dong would prove quite the double act. Their partnership extended beyond the screen to the stage. True love means planning a life for two. started his talk show career in Adelaide with Channel 9, he moved to Melbourne, where in the early 70s he delivered the network record ratings. But he remained a reluctant star. I don't want to be a national television star. I'd rather just be it. I don't believe in the word star anyhow. Such was his popularity, Ernie would win a staggering 21 Logies, including the gold in 1975. All my life, you know, in this business, I, it's been my dream, you know. It really has. And... Uh, I've got it, you know, and I'm... A regular on the Ernie Sigley show was Pete Smith. I remember the spontaneity of the whole thing, the flying by the seat of your pants. They're clichés, but they are so apt when you talk about somebody like Ernie Sigley. Unprepared, and yet he used to kill them night after night. In the 90s, Ernie moved into morning television, and the mayhem followed. Hard me. <laughs> <laughs> From 1996 through to his retirement in 2008, Ernie was the king of afternoons on 3AW. For the past few years, however, Ernie was confined to a nursing home, struck down by Alzheimer's. By his side throughout, his wife of 47 years, Glenys, and his four children. But even in his final years, there was the Ernie of old. When we visited him, was was the the same character was there, but he couldn't he couldn't express it. So he flirted with uh, Glennis with his eyes, and he flirted with my wife with his eyes, and then just stared at me with complete disregard, just like the old days. Ernie Sigley died yesterday, aged 82, from the effects of his Alzheimer's. The little Aussie battler need battle no more. But I did it, my. Tony Jones, Nine News. And Melbourne, that's what's news this Monday as we say goodbye to a treasured member of the Channel 9 and 3AW families, Ernie Sigley. Good night.
The entertainment industry is tonight remembering TV and radio legend Ernie Sigley, who died after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. The self-described Aussie battler from Footscray had an incredible six-decade career. The gap-toothed working-class boy. Hey, hey, oh. Such an unlikely TV and pop star. If I had to worry what my head looks like, I wouldn't have a job. We've lost a true Australian character. He started on TV in the 1950s. She was only 17. Interviewed the Beatles in the 60s. <laughs> had his own national variety show in the 70s. True love means planning a life for two. Hey Hey Paula with TV partner Denise Drysdale was a huge hit, followed by the 1975 Gold Logie. I'm the proudest bloke in the world, Finnegan. I really am. After 56 years in entertainment, Ernie retired from 3AW in 2008. I think the secret to his longevity was he was so natural. From his hospital bed, Bert Newton said, Ernie and I started out together as young boys. He was one of a kind. It was almost like he just strolled in off the street. He made it look really easy. Ernie never forgot where he came from, a lifelong Bulldogs fan. I think he had red, white and blue blood in his veins, Ernie. Yeah, but his most work, unforgettable legacy, that trademark cheeky laugh. <laughs> Nick McCallum, 7 News. Our deepest sympathies to Ernie's family.